He wants justice, even though the shooter is behind bars. The father of a murdered three-year-old says more people need to be punished. Little Amirical Williams was caught in the crossfire as an argument boiled over leading to gunshots. And tonight, Amirical's father is speaking out three years later. Our Lauren Podell shows us why he believes justice has not been served in this case. This is the home where three-year-old Amirical Williams should have felt safe. Instead, it's where she was shot and killed. One man spending time in prison for her murder. But as her father reminds us, there were a group of people out here that day, and he wants to see all of them off the streets. I hear my baby voice every day. I visit her grave site down there every single day. There's not a day that goes by that Demetrius Williams doesn't think about his daughter, a miracle. It's hard. He also can't stop thinking about getting justice. Today. Why are we sitting here today? Because I feel that other people that was involved should be arrested in charge. Last July, a jury did find Donnie Everett guilty of second degree murder and Little Miracle's death. The man Detroit police believe fired the fatal shot. We have identified the shooter. Uh, he's been convicted uh, in court by a jury of his peers and sentenced. But for this father, one conviction is not enough. It was a fight over a Facebook post between William's older daughter and her friend that led to a group of people fighting on Demetrius's front lawn in October of 2014. They need the two sisters, they need, they need Brandon, and they need Lachey Davis. This father even adds himself to the list because Demetrius admittedly fired the first shot that day. If y'all want to charge me, charge me because I'll go spend 10, 20 years in prison for my kids if that's what it takes to get these people off the street. Sergeant Michael Woody is confident a miracle's killer is off the street. The core issue in this case and police hope that's enough for a father to find peace. We are wrapping our arms around this family. We, we send our prayers and our thoughts and we're here for them. Reporting from Detroit, Lauren Podell, Local 4. And Detroit police tell Local 4 several people involved in the fight were questioned and released because they couldn't charge them with crimes. They are willing to continue the investigation if new evidence presents itself.